Okay, hi, I'm Richard Grayson. Um, I'm here to talk to you about a book I recently uh, was involved with writing uh, entitled Diagnoses of the Dead, uh, which is focused on uh, autopsy. Um, the autopsy, I think, in, in, in sort of the last few decades has is, is, uh, sort of fallen a bit into disrepute and it is sort of a, a source of a lot of misconception and uh, a mystique, if you will, in part, I think, due to the uh, portrayal of autopsy in the media and some of the scandal uh, scandals associated with it in uh, uh, the, the news. Um, the purpose of this book is to kind of present in a very straightforward manner without a lot of medical lingo or jargon kind of what an autopsy is, what it entails. Uh, um, we talk about uh, um, consent for autopsy, uh, what exactly happens when an autopsy is done, uh, issues related to what happens to the body after autopsy, uh, religious concerns, ethical concerns, and then uh, to me the m sort of most interesting and, 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 and uh, concerning uh, uh, part from a history standpoint is sort of the uh, decline in the incidence of autopsy and, and the reasons uh, for that. If you go back to the 1950s, uh, over half of uh, hospitalized patients who died in the hospital uh, were autopsied. In, in the 1990s that uh, has declined dramatically down to about 6%. Uh, and there's a variety of reasons, many of which I think are based on misconceptions that uh, sort of the general public has, that physicians have, and hospitals have uh, in terms of uh, the autopsy that uh, account for that. Um, so I would encourage you to pick a copy of the book and, and, and hope you find it informative and enjoyable. Thank you.